Oh, hey, didn't notice you there. Not, didn't notice that you were watching. Uh, today I'm going over the Grimwood, which is a card game that I just received last week, and I absolutely love it. What's the Grimwood? It's simply <clears throat> a set collection game where you're playing cards in sets to or in order to get points. Really simple and a really basic game that I think is fantastic for any type of player, whether you're a novice or whether you like heavier games. The artwork complements, the theme complements, and the uh, mechanics and components all complement each other in a way that just makes this game perfect for anybody. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look over some of the cards. Um, and I've already set them up in sets so you can see what it looks like. For example, locations have the path clearance, or sorry, not clearance, clearing. Let me clarify, it's clearing swamp. And uh, I believe that's five points when you get them all put together, as in what you're doing is you're collecting point cards from a deck or you're stealing from a character, sorry, a player, and you're playing combos whenever you have a combo made. So that'll be five points. You could also set them up getting three pats in a row, three swamps in a row, so forth for points as well. There's also animal cards such as owl and crow which you also do in threes. Those are 10 points. Um, and what's really awesome about this game is instead of being able to take one of the options of drawing a card or stealing a card, which you could do um, two actions of on a turn, you can play a card. And what playing a card is, is a supernatural or a rune or artifact, which are kind of like a defense or getting more turns. Now, supernaturals all have abilities on them. So when you play them down, and they also count as combos, you play the ability. For example, let's look at the mage. <clears throat> the mage says draw two cards from the deck. So normally if I were to play a supernatural, that'd be the end of my turn. I do the action and it's over, the next player goes. Uh, but now I could draw two cards from the deck, so I'll be doing that. Um, right now, I have. if I were to play this as a combo, these four supernaturals, I would think I'd be getting 10 points. The largest combo you can make is a five, and that's 15 points. And um, you could place down as many as you'd like at a time, but if you do place them down, you can only activate one of their supernatural powers. But I mean, I, I believe that's all balanced in its, in its own way. Um, that's pretty much all the cards that are inside of Grimwood. The game plays really quickly. I can finish the game in about five to ten minutes uh, with two players. And I haven't played it yet with more players, but I don't see why you can't add everybody to the mix. Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, and the stranger next door who just moved in and d doesn't say hi yet. Maybe, he could, maybe he'll want to play with me. Maybe I'll invite him. That's the Grimwood.